Welcome to Red Glasses Talks today. Uh, we're going to continue this little series we're talking about called If Jesus Had Not Come. Well, the last time we said if Jesus had not come, uh, we would be cut off from God forever. Secondly, we would have no forgiveness. And then today we're going to talk about there would be no life after death. A lot of people actually don't really think about death. A lot of people also think, well, when we die, we die and we're, we're not conscious, we're not aware. Uh, well, they may be in for a big surprise about that one, so let's talk about it. Listen to this. The Bible says if we do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that qualifies us to forgive our sins and to have an intimate relationship with a holy God, if he doesn't offer us that, if he, we don't have that, then we will be separated from him forever. And we will be conscious, we will be keenly conscious that we are separated from him, from him for eternity. You say, well, that's not fair. Why isn't it fair? One of my friends uh, that I went to graduate school with, his name was Joe, um, he said to me one evening, we were talking in his dorm room, and he said, you know, if we got what we deserved, we would all go to hell. You see, we don't get what we deserve when we come to Jesus Christ, we get what we need. And we're going to look at that. You know, here's the amazing thing to me, that Jesus cared enough to come after us, that God cared enough to send his only son for you and for me. And we didn't deserve it, but we need it. The Bible calls that grace. And in Ephesians 2, 8, this is what we read. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It's a gift of God. It is a gift of God. It's a gift of God. Grace is getting something we need, but don't deserve. So you say, well, I don't believe that Jesus stuff. You will someday, and it might be too late. So um, if you don't believe in Jesus, who came to live, die, and rise from the dead, forgive our sins, to give us the opportunity to have a relationship with the Holy God, then what is your remedy for sin? because sin is what offends God. What's your remedy for that sin, for that problem? You think about that. So the question as I close out today is this, what's it gonna be like? What's it gonna be like for, for those of us who come to know Jesus Christ or will come to know Jesus Christ? What's it gonna be like when we're with him in heaven? Now, you know what? I can only imagine. So you take a few moments now to listen to this amazing song, I Can Only Imagine. I can only imagine what it will be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes will see when your face is before me. I can only imagine. Surrounded by your glory, what will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you be still? Will I stand in your presence, or to my knees will I fall? Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine. I can only imagine 